All right, here we go. Ruby, from a technical standpoint, uh, actually has uh, quite a bit of challenges. You've got a number of different characters, vast landscapes, not only interiors, but exteriors, and having to, uh, to represent that and all their variations. All the characters that you see on the screen are more than just an image. You know, that image is made up of a lot of data. We use three separate softwares for what we do. We have a beautiful painterly quality that comes out of Maya with all the environments. We have a cell shaded aesthetic that we get out of Max for that really nice tune shading that you see on the characters. We also use Houdini to generate the crowds and effects. We have to have three packages uh, function basically like a cohesive unit, as if they were one. Cameras, frames, characters, uh, it all has to line up exactly. The tech team has created just a myriad of tools. The artist is able to push a button and literally a thousand plus processes happen in the background. Now that everything is imported, and we just hit up Setup Scenes, and you can see down at the bottom all of the things it's doing. It's setting up all these render layers, calculating all of the geometry, it's calculating all of the textures, and then it's thinking about the lights. Another pass we use every single shot is the utility pass for the character, and it has mats. All this automation means that we're not doing every single thing by hand. That is going to let them iterate more, target in on what the director, what his vision is or her vision is, ultimately get a better product uh, for the viewers. Comp is the department that takes all the layers that gets rendered and all the VFX and layers it together. The giant mech is really kind of going to be a chance for Comp to show off some of its tricks. It's big, it's techy, it uh, represents the pinnacle of technology that Atlas produces. In this scene, we see our heroes um, narrowly avoiding a giant electrical blast. It's a really cool one because it's a it's a comp effect. Even though it's a miss, it doesn't hit the airship. There's so much like dust electricity that it arcs off and still hits and damages the ship. Each object in the scene is individually rendered. In all those parts of the process, something can fail. My job is going and finding out what that issue might be. This is called Royal Render, and all of us use it. This is kind of a, a way we find out if the renders are getting through. So we have a job rendering here. As we can see, these caution signs appear. That's how I know that something is going wrong in the scene. Usually I would find the artist associated with this job, have them open it, and we would discuss like what the render logs are saying are, are potentially wrong with their scene. When it gets fixed, we send it back through the pipeline, and we have ways to swap out the broken asset for the, the fixed asset and figure out how to fix that. Some are fairly straightforward and fairly easy, and then others are really obscure. And those ones, I feel like a detective, I guess, going through. I'm really proud of what the team has accomplished. Not only my team, but the entire uh, animation team. Everything that we're doing really is geared towards, it's focused on, on the community. Oftentimes, I see the episode for the first time at home uh, Saturday morning with everyone else, and it becomes really exciting to like see your work come together in this finished product that tells a really awesome story, and it's uh, really a privilege to be a part of that.